Hello everyone and welcome to Level Up English with me, teacher Ashley Hale. In our lesson today, I'm going to give you lots of tips and tricks to improve your academic writing. So we are going to talk about improving your academic essays and papers. But before we begin, I would like you to please hit the subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with my latest English videos and lessons. Did you hit subscribe? Excellent! Let's get started. Avoid using words with contractions. So these are words like can't, don't, won't. Rather use these words in their full forms. Say can't, cannot, don't, do not, won't, will not, and so on. It sounds formal and a lot more professional. This is also ideal for an academic text. Always, 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 always be formal. Avoid using local terms. So this means do not put in terms and expressions like YOLO or slay. No, this is not on. Your text should always be formal. Writing in a formal style usually requires you to write in the third person, unless otherwise stated. Writing in the third person means not using words like I or we. Here are some academic words that can be considered before you start writing. Examine, demonstrate, evidence, viewpoint, argument, investigate. A popular phrase that is used as we lay out our evidence for an academic text is this proves that. So we need to look at some alternative phrases for this proves that because we don't want to overuse the same phrase so that it becomes stale. We can say this suggests that or it appears that. So we have three phrases. This proves that, this suggests that or it appears that. Let's review the tips for academic writing. Number one, avoid using words with contractions. Example, can't, don't, won't. Number two, always be formal. Number three, write in third person unless otherwise stated. Number four, consider the following words before you begin writing. The words are examine, demonstrate, evidence, viewpoint, argument, and investigate. Number five, find alternative phrases to use. Remember, an academic text consists of three parts. An introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Let's talk about the introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction. The introduction will provide a guide on how you will approach or answer the assignment question. The body. 
the body has all your ideas and approaches to the assignment in full detail. So the body has everything you need to know about the assignment question in this part of the academic text. And finally, we have the conclusion. The conclusion brings all the ideas that you have presented in the body together to show how you have approached the question. When you are writing your conclusion, be careful not to introduce any new information. And for the last bit of this lesson, I am going to give you seven tips on what makes a good essay. Let's get started. Number one, using academic language and a good writing style. Number two, sticking to the assignment question and instructions. Number three, good structure. Make sure your essay is structured well with a good introduction, body and conclusion. Number four, logical and coherent writing. Number five, good flow and organization. Number six, research and evidence of research. And number seven, referencing correctly. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. In our lesson today, we discussed tips for academic writing. We also looked at the three main parts of an academic text, which is the introduction, body and conclusion. And finally, we had seven tips for good essay writing. I hope that you found this lesson informative and that this lesson will help you in your future academic assignments. This is teacher Ashley Hale with Level Up English signing out today. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.